in question it is asked that there is there are two functions f and g and it is said that g o f is onto in nature so question is asked that if g o f is onto then does it necessarily mean that both f and f be, need to be onto and let's check let's say this f maps from a to b and b maps from b to c so g o f is on to means uh, it says that for every c like in this set c let's say set c equal set of c1 c2 c3 and then for every c there is a pre image in b uh, that means that uh, in a if g o f needs to be on to it since g o f maps from a to c it requires a pre image of for every c1 c2 c3 in a that means connection has to be maintained backwards like if you have c1 c2 and c3 that means for every th there is a corresponding at least a1 a2 a3 need not be three but let's say there are three different thing uh, images in between there is b so let's say there are there is b1 corresponding to this and to this and there is b2 corresponding to this and b3 corresponding to this other than this there can be many other b4 and other things which need not have any prerequisite images in a4 it doesn't bother it doesn't bother with gof so in set b i will include b4 so b is equal to set of b1 b2 b3 b4 now we can clearly see that uh, here f which maps from here a b and c so here f which maps from this to this let's see clearly so here f which maps from a to b need not be onto because for not for every b there is a pre image in a if c for b for there is no image in pre image in a so that mean uh, that means a f is not onto also uh, we can see that uh, g is onto here because for every c there is a pre image in b so that means um, both f and g not necessarily onto in nature 